Good evening, Commissioners. Good evening. My name is uh, John Griffith, and I'm, I'm here on behalf of my family, uh, my mother and my sister. Um, we own a farm in White Plains, 10300 and 10400 Griffith Lane, at the end of Griffith Lane. And uh, I submitted uh, a, some comments yesterday uh, regarding our position that, that we believe that the proposal uh, to include the 1160 acres in White Plains in the um, in the watershed conservation district that 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 proposal should be rejected. Um, my mother has also prepared uh, some comments, some written comments, and I'd like to, to file them with uh, with Ms. Mitchell if I could after after my comments here. Um, I I think the comments themselves uh, pretty much address the issue from our point of view, but there's one particular part of it I'd like to focus on, and that is. Uh, looking at the specific location of our farm and the development, the existing development that is around it. So um, if, if you look at our farm, that's really within the core of this 1160 acres, uh, that farm has development on all sides of it. Uh, in fact, uh, immediately adjacent to our farm to the north is the South Winds Adult Active Community. Uh, to the east is the Theodore Green Industrial Park, and I can see both uh, the uh, active adult community and the industrial park from, from the farm, just, just looking out in the farm field, I can see those. Now, immediately to the south of our property is the, uh, they're building the new Army Recruiting Center. And uh, then also to the south of our property are some recently constructed houses on Griffith Lane, several of them that have, that have been uh, built in the last few years. In fact, one is, is currently in, under construction. And then immediately to the west and adjacent of us is uh, the uh, Paget Estates subdivision. So the point I'm trying to make is we are completely surrounded by development, uh, and we feel that if this proposal were to go through, that would single us out for different treatment. Would uh, adversely affect our property and property rights by taking away potential uh, uses of that property. And uh, it really struck a chord with me, the, 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 the gentleman that had lived here for many years over near the airport who said that, you know, he was counting on the ability to use his property for different purposes for his retirement. It strikes a chord with me because my elderly mother, who's been a resident and taxpayer of Charles County for 50 years, is very alarmed by this. Uh, she has, you know, for many, many years, and my late father the same, can had an understanding. Can, can you summarize? Sure. First, please. They had an understanding regarding uh, the permissible uses of the farm, and, and this you know, is, is really something that's going to adversely affect our family and mm -hmm. single us out, we believe, for, for unfair treatment. So, so thank you all very much for your time. Thank you.